Welcome to Fall Quarter 2021 Business 210 Statistical Analysis with Microsoft Excel. But before we do that, why in the world are we taking a statistics class and learning Excel? Because out in your jobs, when you're given a column of data like this and you need to know the percentage responses using Excel, it's quick and easy. Insert Ribbon tab, Pivot Table, click OK. There's the survey results. I drag it down to Rows, and instantly I get a unique list. I drag the same column down to Values, and it knows to Count. I drag it again, and right click Show Values as Percent of Column Total. Yeah, this Pivot Table feature knows to take each individual number and compare it to the column total. And just like that, we have our report, which in this statistics class is called a frequency distribution. And look at that. Bloxy Cola is number one. So the reason we use Excel in this statistical analysis class is so we can go from data like this to a report like this with just a few clicks. Now, I already sent you an introductory letter, and this is the introductory video. And I don't have a link here because I'm just filming this now. And that's our syllabus. Your job on day one is to watch this video and study the syllabus. Now, this is our People website where we're going to spend most of our time watching YouTube videos and downloading Excel files. We have a Canvas website. And we'll come back and look at that in just a moment. We'll also come back and look at these chapter links, which is where we watch the YouTube videos and download the Excel files. But we want to start it off by going and looking at our syllabus. Now, the syllabus is a PDF file. And in fact, if I click the Back button here, you can come read it here, or you can right click and download it, Save Link As. But we're going to look at it here online. Now, right at the top, there's a table of contents. And you can come back to this table of contents and click on any section and jump to that section. Now, this is important because the schedule for our class with everything you need to know is not in Canvas. It's here at our People website. So I'm going to click on this to jump to that section. And there's the schedule. This has everything you need to know, what video to watch, what pages in the textbook, when a quiz is, when a test is, and when the class ends. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And I'm going to go through just briefly a few things in the syllabus. Otherwise, day one, you're going to read this carefully because it's the rules for how everything works in this class. Now here's my instructor information. And I do have office student hours, which means you can get help with the class, advising, or other questions you may have. Monday through Thursday, noon to 2 PM, either by email or phone. But you can also do in-person phone, Zoom, or email meetings outside those office hours. You just have to send me an email to request a meeting Monday through Saturday outside of my office hours. Now you can read through all the course information, outlines, and all of that. Now here's the textbook requirement. And I've already sent out emails twice, two weeks before the class started and one week before the class started, to let you know that we're going to use an older textbook. And the beauty of this older textbook is it's exactly the same as the newer ones. You just only have to pay maybe 50 bucks to 100 bucks instead of 350 like the new one. Now, there are computer requirements for this class. And in the emails I sent out over the last couple weeks, I mentioned these also. You must have daily access to a Windows-based computer that fulfills these requirements. Computer must have internet connection, because we're going to be watching YouTube videos. And the computer must have Excel 2013 version or later for a PC computer. And the free Microsoft 365 Excel that Highline provides all students is good for this class. Now, you can't use a Mac or a Chromebook. Why? Because the Mac and Chromebook are different than Windows-based computers. And because most employers require employees to use Windows-based PC computers. So the business department here at Highline is required to teach you that Windows-based PC computer 
to match the employer's demands. Now, if you have your own computer, you don't need to get a USB drive. But if you're going to check out a computer from Highline or use the labs at Highline, you should get a USB drive and save all the files. All those files, all the practice while watching the videos and doing the homework, you're allowed to use all of that on quizzes and tests. So you want somewhere to store those files. Now, keyboards. This is a business class, and we're learning Excel, which is one of the most highly demanded skills out there in the working world. If you can get a standard keyboard with the 10 key here and the F keys at the top, it's just much faster and easier to do all the things we need to do. If you have a laptop, which a lot of you do, then you're not going to have a 10 key, and you're going to have to use the FN or FX key to access the F keys at the top. Now, access to computers. Building 30 is actually open, but you have to schedule two hours at a time. And there's the link to give you information about that. If you need to check out a computer from Highline, there's the information for that. And if you want the free Highline College Microsoft 365 package, you can go to this link. And in fact, if I click on this, there's the link to get the free Office 365, or now it's called Microsoft 365. And down here, that's the schedule for Building 30. Now, we have two class websites, and the details are listed here, but we'll look at each one. And succeeding in this class. Well, of course, you must have a PC Windows-based computer with Excel. You must buy that older textbook. And in this class, it all starts with the schedule at the end of the syllabus. That has everything you need to do, so look at it every day. Also, for each chapter in this class, you'll need to download the Excel chapter file, which is always below the video, then watch the video, then complete whatever Excel statistics exercises you see in the video, then you jump over to reading the textbook and chapters and completing the homework problems from the textbook. Now, for the first week of class, you do not need to use the textbook. You study the first two videos in the class to learn all about Excel. There are actually homework problems at the end of that Excel file, and the video prompts you about these. For the second week and beyond, then you start to use the textbook. Now, all video projects and homework are done for practice. You do not hand in the video projects and the homework for points towards a grade. You earn points towards a grade in this class by doing quizzes and tests. Now, we'll take a look at this in a moment, but all the solutions for the homework problems are available in the home area of Canvas. And this is so you can check your own work. Now, quizzes can be done to earn points towards a grade. These quizzes are in the home area of Canvas, which we'll go look at. Take home Excel tests can be done to earn points towards a grade. Now, these take home Excel tests are emailed to you. You have about two days to complete them, and then you upload them to the home area of Canvas. And the last two hints for success, you download all files and watch all videos at the People website and then use Canvas to take quizzes, upload tests, and see scores. So that's like a, a list of how to succeed in this class. Now here's the details about quizzes and tests. Quizzes can be done at any time during the quarter. Tests, however, are emailed at, as, at a certain time, and you have to upload them at a certain time. And you lose 25% if you hand in tests late. Be sure and read through all of that. All right, now the schedule at the end. Now let's see how the schedule works. We'll look at week one first. There's the week and the dates. There's the topics. This is the chapter. Chapter 00, that means there's no textbook. There's the file you'll download. You watch video number one. There's actually a video 00, which we'll go look at in just a moment also. And look at this. It says you have two quizzes to do this week. When you get to week two and three, here's the dates. Here's the topics. Here's the chapters in the textbook. There's two Excel files to download. There's the videos that you watch before working in the textbook. There's the pages to read in the textbook. There's the homework problems to practice in the textbook. And then for this week, there's quiz three and four. When we look at week four, topic, chapter, the file to download, videos to watch, pages in the textbook, homework problems. And this week, 
I'm going to email out a test. Now notice it says test emailed out about noon, October 21st. And then below this, it says test one must be uploaded to the home page of Canvas before 9 AM Monday, October 25th. So the schedule, you want to read it carefully. It tells you what to do. Now I'm going to click the Back button because we want to go look at our People and Canvas websites. Now we'll start with our People website. Each one of these is a link that opens up the chapter videos and files. So if I click on Chapter 00, there's the Excel file that you download first, and here's the videos to watch. Now when you download a video, it depends on the browser. You can either click it in some browser, and Save As will pop up. Other times, you have to right click and Save Link As. Once you save it to your computer, you open up the Excel file, and that's when you turn on the video. So video number one will start right here, and then tell you to click on this sheet, and tell you various things to do. Now the videos, if we click on this one right here, it'll jump to YouTube. Now this video starts at 00, and that's the location in the workbook where you start. And you just click Play and Welcome watch it. And you watch it all the way through. Now this video is a very long video. When you come back to this later, like you're looking something up for the test or a quiz, or later when you're out there working, there's a Show More button below the video. And when you click this, it opens up a time hyperlink table of contents. So later, when you need to come back and remember what an absolute or relative cell reference is, or what the standard deviation dot p function does, you just simply click on this, and it jumps exactly to that point in the video. All right, I'm going to click the Back button. Back button. When I go over to Chapter 3, now here's the Excel files. This is the file that you use with the videos. But notice this is for the homework problem. And these are data sets that the textbook gives you so that you can complete homework problems. You can open this, copy, and paste it into a new file where you create your homework problems. Now I'm going to click the Back button. If I go to Chapter 4, here there's the file that you download and watch these videos. But here there's also some PDF notes. And I refer to them in the video. All right, I'm going to click the Back button. That's how we use our People website. Now let's go look at our Canvas website. In the Home area, this link brings you back to the People site. This is a discussion area. And discussions aren't required in this class. But if you have an Excel question, you can post a question here. And be sure to attach the Excel workbook. Here in the Home area are all the solutions to all the textbook homework problems. Now this is the Home area where Week 1, Week 2, and 3 assignments are listed. Now these links jump you back to the People site, but you're going to be automatically working there. Here's Quiz 1 and 2 for Week 1. And then Week 2 and 3, there's Quiz 3 and 4. And then Week 4, there's our first Test Upload link. So that continues down, matching exactly what you see in the schedule. And then at the bottom, there's some other resources. Announcements, I'll make at least one announcement a week over here in Canvas. And then you have this Grades, where you can look at your scores. All right, that's how to use Canvas, how to use our People website. And we looked at our syllabus. And this is going to be a great quarter, learning statistics and Excel. So your next step is to go to Chapter 00, download the file, and start watching the videos.